Good morning everybody, Mike here from Arizona. Just uh, wanted to give everybody an update. My greenhouse that I ordered is on back order. However, it is a lot larger than the one that I originally had sitting here. Uh, the one I had sitting here I believe was about that was 10 or 12 feet in length by 7 feet wide and 7 or 8 feet tall. The one I'm ordering is 20 feet in length and 10 feet wide. So quite a little bit more space which is good. I'm probably going to rearrange some stuff maybe go with more stock tanks uh, the the fish tanks themselves are a little bit hard they let a little, bit, a little bit too much light in there the algae though gets a lot out of control I mean not that that matters it's actually beneficial for what's going on in my systems anyway but uh, update right here the Azola started to turn red based upon the amount of sunlight it's getting now I thought maybe it was drying out and dying but it actually isn't it's doing very well and there's actually quite a bit of duckweed still within in there, so not really sure if it's just going to take turns of taking over each other. Duckweed, I'll have more duckweed at one point, more zola at some point. I don't really know. We'll just see what happens here. I did notice, however, I thought I had taken the dwarf sage all out of this bin. I did happen to see, if you guys can see this, there's a lot of dwarf sage in there. I actually was trying to hand count it. There's about 20 to 30 pieces of dwarf sage underneath all this, so that's actually doing really well, being that it's getting a lot of shade from the azola and duckweed. Also, with that said, I was sent two rhizomes, the lily pads. I'm gonna plant them, but I just had them floating for about a week, and this one came with a leaf that kind of is dying off, but I'm getting some new growth on here with a very nice root system. So I'm kind of happy about that. And this one right here, absolutely had no leaves when I got it. And as you can tell, this thing is just exploding with leaves and tons of root growth. So doing really well up in here. Mangroves are doing okay. A couple of them struggled. I still got to pull some hair algae out. I just literally just turned my camera on first thing this morning. Uh, guppies, give me one second. Let me see if I can shut this pump off because I know I have a ton of guppies and I still yet to take some out okay so here are my guppies and they're all doing really well I do have some really nice ones in here uh, I do have to say though some of my adult blue deltas are nowhere to be found so I'm assuming that they died or an animal might have got them or something since there's no more greenhouse here but I do have some offspring of blue deltas so I should get them back once the uh, juveniles here grow into uh, mature guppies, but I have a lot. I mean, I have, there's at least 40 to 50 fry over here with some scattered adults and just as many over here. I have a lot of guppies. I'm not worried about it. As you can see, this has grown in quite nicely. There's a lot of guppy grass, a lot of algae, a lot of places for them to hide. In fact, I actually pulled some algae out of here before and I saw an amphipod which I'm familiar with for salt water and if anybody hasn't seen one before Google search amphipod look it up, oh here comes my dogs now look up amphipod, they're kind of weird and creepy looking, they're like little shrimp but I do have them in the system and I'm sure the guppies are eating them too but that's, all, that's always beneficial as well to have live growing food within your own system I'm sure these guys are getting plenty of mosquitoes as well uh, everything's going good. Looks like the green cobras. Uh, I still have some several really nice green cobra adults. There's one down here. But blue deltas, now I'm just got to wait for some of these juveniles to grow up because I definitely have some blue delta juveniles as well. I will do an update and pull them out eventually. Things have been kind of crazy here, so I'm going to wait to do that until I set up and have some, some new setups done where I pull some of my uh, favorable males out and uh, start some breeding systems. As far as the Bacopa and the uh, water wisteria, as you can see, the leaves are starting to change. So this is starting to look more like water wisteria again. But I have plenty of growth in here again. But again, since the greenhouse is blown away, the ones growing out of the water tend to be drying out a little faster, not as much moisture in the air. These are completely done. These are all oranges. So looks like I gotta restart some orange seeds again. And then last but not least, I have my 
kiddie pool here. And I know a lot of you guys have been interested on the progress of this. And I gotta say guys, this is an amazing project. So, as you can, if you remember, I started with five. <laughs> I don't even know how many, I can't even count what's in here. There's just so much. I can tell you that if I can had to take a guess, there's definitely well over a hundred dwarf sag in here and this has not been going on for very long. Possibly now, I don't know, maybe just under two months of growth. So this is a lot. And I don't know what really what you can see or what you can. I'm getting quite a glare on my camera. So I'm hoping you can see the dwarf sag. But those are my updates for today, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Everybody have a great day.